Hi everyone, welcome to the next lesson. In this lesson we're going to be looking at uh, the power of prefabs uh, within Unity. What prefabs let you do is it lets you create an object within Unity um, or a collection of objects within Unity that are in your scene view. And these objects could be, uh, it could be a couple of boxes, it could be some lights, materials, so on and so forth. And then we can create what's called a prefab, which is literally like a group of the objects and it's sent into your project view so you can reuse them over and over again. A really popular feature of prefabs that we'll be using in this, uh, in this game is a prefab called bullet. So our bullet in the game is going to be a little object. It's going to be a rectangular slash cuboid shape. And it's going to have some properties such as it will have a light attached to it and it will have some physics applied so that it'll be able to hit off players and, and bounce accordingly and it'll also have some force applied so it will have some scripting elements applied and because we need this to be a prefab is because bullets will be spawned um, many times um, every second within your game so we can actually spawn these prefabs from our player so let's just do an example of prefabs we're also going to look a wee bit at materials as well. So I want to create a prefab called player. So we're just in the previous example, we made a box with a light bulb attached to it. I'm going to change the light bulb to a uh, point light. And I'm just going to move this appropriately like so. And I'm going to turn that intensity down a wee bit as well because it's very, very strong. Okay. And I'm just going to move it. So at the moment, our box, I'm going to change this from box to player. I'm going to right click box and hit rename. I'm going to change this to player. And we can currently move our player anywhere we want. Now I'm going to give my player like a little, another little box, which will act as if it was a gun. Okay. So we're going to go to game object, create other and cube. And this cube, I'm just going to position it roughly to where our gun should be. I'm going to use the scale tool just to scale it down to look a bit more like a gun. Okay, and remember we're doing this at a prototype level. So this is known as gray boxing. Gray boxing is just like a visual representation of your players and objects. And it's purely fine for testing purposes. Meanwhile, while you're gray boxing, you may have a, a character artist or a 3D artist who's actually making the, the final 3D asset for you. And when that's done, it's a simple matter for placing. So I'm gonna rename this cube to gun. I'm gonna right click and call this gun and then like before I'm going to drag this into the player so whenever the player moves uh, the gun will the gun and the light will move with it the next thing I'm going to do is introduce these all to materials and materials in unity is a way of coloring or shading objects okay um, it can combine textures which are 2d images it can combine uh, specular properties which is the shininess of a model and normal values, which is the kind of depth illusion of a model, so on and so forth. Um, so to create a material, a material is not a game object, it's actually an asset. And to create an asset, we have to go over to our project view. To do this, we just in our project view, we just right click, click on create, and we want to create a material. And for this, I'm going to call this M underscore player. The M underscore just kind of tells me that this is a material. It's just a standard kind of naming convention. I'm going to change the shader type, which is the type of material, from diffuse, and we've got a ton of options. And I'm going to choose one called specular. And what the specular does, it combines color and a specular color. Specular is the shininess of the light hitting the object. So I'm going to change the main color to blue using the color slider. We just click here. I'm going to change the specular color to maybe like a reddish color or purple or maybe like a uh, like a cyan kind of color. We can change the shininess, so if we increase that, it's really shiny. We decrease it, the, the little point like it's really, really focused to make it look as if it's kind of glossy or wet. So we're just gonna choose something around here. So that's our material setup. And the easy way to set up a or to apply a material is just to click and drag it onto our player. So like that. I'm gonna now create another material. I'm gonna right click, create material. I call this M underscore gun and I'm going to change this to a specular. I'm going to give it a color of a very kind of gun metallic uh, silver, gun metal as, I, as it's called. I'm going 
can change the specular color to like a, a metallic blue down around here and then I'm going to increase the shininess ever so slightly and then I'm going to drag this onto our gun so with that we have some objects all set up in one hierarchy which is called player inside the player we have a light and we have a gun so let's now look at how to actually make a prefab of this to make a prefab it is dead simple we just select our object which is player it will automatically select all the sub objects or the children and we simply just drag it right across to our project view so this actually now becomes an asset called player and if we look at player we can see it has some sub objects it's a prefab because it has the blue box icon it's still got its name it's got its transform values and it's got its material applied it's got its mesh all assigned so on and so forth and down at the bottom we have a preview as well of the object if we wanted to add more of these into our scene we could simply just drag them in move them remember we can hold down v to access the vertex snapping mode and then these prefabs are then brought in to our hierarchy view so that's a wee bit on prefabs later on we'll be creating prefabs for our enemies our bullets so on and so forth and we can use the power of uscript and any kind of programming language to um to actually spawn these uh, so for bullets and enemies it's it's extremely helpful to just let the script say at a certain point spawn in a player or spawn in a bullet or spawn in an enemy at a certain place certain time so on and so forth so that's it on uh, prefabs thank you for watching